three of our top agents had been uncovered in Warsaw. Although the men had succeeded in hiding in the sewers, the damage was very serious. My mission was to prevent secret information from falling into the Germans' hands at any cost. I was smuggled in, unarmed and disguised. I had to find the men before the Gestapo did. If there was no way out, I had to silence them. Those were my orders. It was suspected that their hiding place was in a section of the sewers near the ghetto. It would not be easy to get there. The Nazis were in the process of cleaning out the entire ghetto. We are at the third man, possibly the most notorious set of chapters in this game. And the story and the mission behind it is just completely unsettling. I mean, we are looking for our fellow secret agents who were compromised in Warsaw, the heart of uh, the you know, German Poland invasion. And we're not going to be able to um, get them out alive. It's it's quite obvious that that's that's the way this is going to happen. So honestly, the only thing that we can do is hopefully that the Gestapo has not found these these secret agents, and we can silence them peacefully and mutually hopefully they understand what has to happen uh, each of them should be equipped with cyanide pills that they should be able to take but if they're caught then violet has to infiltrate where they're where they're being kept and just kill them outright to protect the secrets that um the germans must not have and as i was saying in the outro of the previous mission this is not my favorite level. This is actually probably my least favorite level, the sewers. But it's my favorite section of levels, at least I think so. And um, it's um, the third man section, where we are in the Warsaw, and the Warsaw Ghetto. And if you know your history, which most anybody should know their history of the um, Holocaust period, um, that's, I think everybody should know the, one of the blackest chapters of our uh, history, world history. But anyway, um, that is kind of a central point of where um, Jew, Jewish people were taken to concentration camps and death camps. And that is where we are. We're in the sewers of the Warsaw Ghetto. So you'll just, just wait until you see what um, vile imagery we get to see in this... Uh, in this level. Not this one particular, but the next one. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I can't, still can't help but laugh when I hear that fucking humming song. It's the, my favorite one they do. I love it. <laughs> and there's a sniff again. God. God, these things. These, this, this, the. I guess the idle banter is just hilarious. The idle self banter, I guess. It's funny as hell. <laughs> now see, this guy is only facing that wall. He's never gonna move. So we gotta play the uh, the whole. Oh, right, what's going on here? And I'll just watch. Watch how this guard knows exactly where I am, and he starts coming forward towards me. This is this is the point I'm talking about. It's hilarious. See, look. He, see how his see he's he's he's. He knows where I am. Like, he's coming towards me. That's all he's doing. It's ridiculous. But that usually only is only like the first couple times. But see to me, he's pointing at me and... Okay, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. God damn it! Oh, God, this fucking game, man. This fucking game. See, the problem with this guy is that you don't have a gun yet. Because you had to be disguised to be smuggled into the Warsaw Ghetto. You know, it's all it's just all bad uh, This time we're not gonna play around. I'm just gonna go behind him. I think that's I'm able to do that once he stops 
Well, he needs to stop a little bit more than that. Yeah, I really can't do much till I get a gun. So... Okay, this should be good. They just turn around so quick. It is so um, unreliable to distract guards in on agent mode. Just completely unreliable. <laughs> there we got a gun. And we also have a gas mask. So you can... Uh, you can rest, be rest assured that uh, this level gets a little little crazy, especially on Agent. And I actually, um, interesting enough, I actually had some uh, technical difficulties where the frame rate was uh, going way above where it should, and it was causing, um, but it was causing a lot of grief. Um, my character, everything was running faster, like t two times faster, and I couldn't fix it. Uh, it turned out restarting my computer fixed it. And for some reason, I thought, you know, quitting the game and coming back in would fix it, but was not the case. Anyway, the... Uh, I, had to, I started playing around with some configuration settings, like maybe how to like manually turn off vertical sync, seeing what something, maybe I actually activated something by a weird key, key press. And, um, well, it turned out that the... I don't know what the problem was, but I found some interesting values. A lot of these values in this game are set by just a text document with 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 values in them. So I found the difference. You could see, it was called difficulty um, config file, and you could see how much damage normal was and how much damage agent was. So basically, things are like amplified by like 0.2 percent, or, or or by 0.2. Um, well, that was close. Almost at the almost at the light here. Almost at the light. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. And go back. Nope. No thanks, buddy. Don't want you. Huh. Yeah. And so, so basically, if damage if damage done to me was one on normal, it was 1.2 on agent. So it's 120 percent more. Or 20% more, basically. Um, so, definitely interesting. So, uh, this guy doesn't really prove to be very easy to grab. So, we're going to hopefully distract him and get him over by this water over here. And uh, see if he can get a little shock in his little life. Nope. Or that could happen. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> wow, man. I don't know how he even saw me. I pretty, I was pretty sure I was just in the... I, I, I shot, but unless the muzzle sh flare of my shot showed him or showed him where I was. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, it's hard to say. Now, there should be a... Yeah, a letter. Okay. My dearest Lenny, please don't worry about me anymore. Since my serious injury, I have been transferred to Warsaw and must now stand guard in the sewers. But I am no longer able to care. I found a hidden weapons dump for the partisans there and did not report it to my officers. I have seen things which I would rather not describe to you. The truth is so bad that I cannot tell you. I must be completely honest with you, Lenny. I no longer even dream of my return home. What would I do with my lost life? I am nothing more than a walking corpse. Emotionless, empty. That is what the war has done to my life. Curse it, and those who are responsible for it. I wish only for release, an endless sleep. Farewell, your Volka. Good lord, that was actually a really good letter. It actually makes you kind of feel for the soldier. He, you know, he's not just... They're not just trying to... They're not all just killing machines that hate human human life. Uh, that one was you know, he, he he apparently uh, met a downward spiral, and uh, turned to this mechanicized 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 um, emotional being. And these barrels, I believe, there's a collectible underneath. A collection of barrels here, and I don't know which one. Let's try this. Yeah, there it is. That's a secret one. That one, I um, if you don't know that one's there, you're not gonna find it. But that's why it's worth 300 points, as much as a secret objective. 
But yeah, that's a touching letter. I'm just gonna assume it was the this guy that was just roaming around the sewers. Like he had an injury, and so what they did is they made him patrol the sewers. I mean, wow, they are heartless. Too late. One of the agents had been caught, and the Gestapo knows how to make people talk. In other words, the man was as good as dead. I had to follow them to the prison, but first I had to find the other agents. So that pretty much um, lays out the rest of the third man missions. That third man, which is why it's called the third man, has been captured. And we're going to have to get him in prison and silence him. So we're going to go to the freaking Warsaw Ghetto prison um, to, to get this guy. It's Yeah, it's going to get crazy. And this shit right here, these little, this little like O-ring circle um, sewer area, you seriously can get caught seen by soldiers down there like in a flash. I, I don't even know how it happens sometimes, obviously because I get my shadow goes away for like a split second, but it's just ridiculous. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, realistically, if, a, if you're a guard and you saw a, just a quick split flash of like someone creeping up there, you'd immediately be, you know, alerted. It makes sense, but it's just for a game, it's just brutal. Oh well. Alright, so we, so Agent Radek is in the prison. Hopefully the other two agents are somewhere in the sewers where they, we can either kill them or they've already been killed. And this really beautiful lighting effects in the sewers and this, and oh, a trail of blood as well. Something's not right. Yeah, big trail of blood. Der Zweite hat sich kurz vorher selbst vergiftet. Das heißt, einer fehlt noch. Der muss sich hier unten irgendwo versteckt haben. Soweit ich gehört habe, ist er aber verletzt. Weit kann er also nicht kommen. Wir kriegen bestimmt alle ein Abzeichen, wenn wir den auch noch erwischen. Sturmbannführer Henkel hat sogar schon das Ritterkreuz. Das kann der sich sonst wo reinstecken. Die Spione geht schon früh genug kaputt. Genau wie wir alle. Vorsicht. Das ist Hochverrat. Und wenn schon. Heutzutage ist es doch schon Hochverrat, wenn man seine Jacke falsch geknöpft hat. Was redest du denn da? Bist du verrückt geworden? Der Sturmbannführer darf mir den Arsch küssen. Ich weiß von seinem ganzen krummen Geschäft. Der würde sich nie wagen, mich vor Gericht zu stellen. Was soll der Quatsch? Pass auf, wenn das in die falschen Ohren gerät, bist du dran. Ha. Hier hat jeder jeden in der Tasche, mein Junge. Lass mich in Ruhe mit dem Scheiß. Ich gehe noch ein paar Runden und dann können sie mich alle... Wir sollen aber die Stellung... Ich hab nichts gehört. Und du auch nicht. Das gibt sicher noch Ärger. Und wenn schon. Du, wie du hast wohl den Warschau Ärger? I mean, it's ridiculous how long these conversations are. But I want to make sure this, uh, one of our agents gets the peace he deserves. Yes. As you can see, one of the agents is hiding in the sewers, but he's mortally wounded. Andre Korczak, codename Josef. His fight was over. The man was seriously wounded. But he did not want to swallow his pill. Home is always in the wrong direction. And Josef would never make it out of here. I had no choice and there was something I needed from him. Tu crois qu'elle nous entend? Elle est complètement dans les vapes. Une raison de plus d'en finir au plus vite. Qui sait si elle se réveillera jamais? pas juste la tuer. Pourquoi donc es-tu revenu, Paul Il presse tout le monde comme un citron. Ils ont défoncé toutes les dents d'Henri et encore il a eu de la chance. Deux hommes ont été descendus. Ils menacent de faire un massacre si personne ne leur dit où elle se cache. Maurice, ils sont sérieux. Il faut la leur livrer. 
Non, elle est unique. Nous ne devons pas l'abandonner, Paul. Tu sais ce qu'ils lui feront As my superior like to say, there's only one thing worse than a captured agent. A captured agent without cyanide. I had to get this pill to the third agent. So one benefit of uh, Agent Joseph um, not taking his pill out of cowardice, which, you know, I couldn't say that, but anyway, that's what, for a secret agent code, that would be cowardice, is that I can deliver the cyanide pill to the third man, Agent Reddick. So, boy, as you see, Violet has no hesitation. He, she, she is a, she is a strict, she is a top agent. She does not mess around. She just blew the hell out of uh, Agent uh, Yosef. And she also loves to put her fucking knife straight into the heads of people and go all the way through their entire face. Good lord. <laughs> See, if they're far away enough, they don't give a shit <laughs> if the lights go off. They're like, eh, whatever. So there's definitely some um, immersion breaking in some of these things, but, you know, whatever. Oh my god, will you stop this fucking song? Son of the bitch! God fucking son of the fuck fuckers. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> fucking bastard. All right, God, this is gonna be tough with four bullets. I tell you what. Anyway, back to my. Let's return to my, uh, my Blatty Demeter. Which, what? Who the? What the hell does that mean? Oh, good checkpoint. Thank you for that. Now let's just get even more complicated with patrols. <laughs> but boy, this music's all warpy and just twisted. It's crazy. And beautiful lighting that's also very dangerous lighting. Because that guy is staring right down this freaking hallway. You goddamn better believe one fucking second in that light. He's... Hey, I'm done. <laughs> oh, boy. Gonna get out of the way. Let's patrol here. Here we go. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, go. Gotcha. Ooh, that's close to the fucking light. Whew. Making me swear a little bit, ghetto sewers person. And this guy, well, this guy is not going to prove to be very kind. Can't really get to him, but I don't like keeping people alive. I don't even give a sh I don't even give a shit if he has a helmet. I don't even give a shit if he has a helmet. <laughs> don't even care. And but yeah, oh, I have to take a pause for you. Look at this water. Look at that. That color. That's like exactly what I would think sewer water would kind of look like. <laughs> or stagnant pond water. It's beautiful. And it's... Ugliness. We got two people here. Looks like we got some gas. I like it. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, gas and explosives. But this other guy's gotta get out of the way first. I want a two for one. And here, this uh, serious music. It's, it's very scary. Very un unnerving. Okay, I didn't know they were gonna choke. They didn't look like they were choking from that gas. <laughs> oh well. Now I got one damn bullet. This sucks. Got plenty of med kits. Don't need that though. I need some, like, just a pistol, ammo, anything. Yikes. And that water again. Freaking gorgeous, man. 2009, not bad. This game definitely was good with, with that with that aspect. Okay, this... When I said that they never force you into an area where you're immediately exposed, I was wrong. If you go through this door, you are immediately exposed. So I gotta time my entrance right. Yeah, this, this, this game's not screwed around anymore. We're over halfway done. And, um, actually, this, I think this is the halfway mark. No, this is mission six, seven. It's one of those. And, uh, we're, 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 
Oh, it's six. I think we're ha yeah, we're just on the halfway mark of this game, and uh, this is when a, usually when a game should change its difficulty around. So I think I know when to go. I think we can go when that guy is not facing here. He has to go over there because trust me, he'll see me. That's you know this. You know this game by now, everyone. If he'll see me, <laughs> if he's even slightly like, if his nostril hair blows my direction. All right, let's try this. I don't know. It worked. Unbelievable. Huh. What's that, a med kit? Don't need it. I do have morphine, though. Okay. I think we're gonna morphine this. This is a little dangerous. Yeah, I think we can do this. We're fine. Oh, come on, man! Fuck the fuck off! Come the fuck off it, you asshole! That you Man, this game, man. Fucking pissed off. That is such horse shit. Double kill! Okay, time to not fool around. This is this is gonna be crazy shit. Huh. I have got to get perfect, perfect um, timing to get to this guard. That's the only way. <laughs> I only have one bullet. I can't take these guys on at all if they see me. That's all there is to it. See, if you start moving, like with even though you're sneaking you're actually a little bit higher your head raises they can see your head that that game this game allows for head head detection Don't think so, buddy. Fuck this place. It was Jerzy Yarkovich, codename Wojciech. His skin showed red spots. He had taken cyanide. Ce n'est pas la peine. Elle est plus morte que vive. Tu veux sacrifier tout un village, les femmes et les enfants Elle a un ange gardien puissant. Il nous a mené à elle pour que nous l'aidions. Son destin est le nôtre. Ne le vois-tu pas Il ne faut pas croire tout ce que tu vois. 